Hello friends, I am CA Alok Sethi and today in this video lecture, I am going to show you how you can calculate your loan EMI and its repayment schedule also known as amortization schedule. This video is going to be very useful for all those persons who have taken a loan or who are planning to take a loan and they want to check the EMI which is quoted by the bank or any other financial institution or any broker and want to confirm whether the EMI that they have got from the bank is exactly the same as we can calculate by ourselves. So if you are really looking for a tutorial on EMI calculation, keep watching this lecture till the end. Okay, to find a template on loan amortization or to find any template on Excel, what you need to do is you just need to click on file and press the new button here. And uh, you can see different templates which are appearing here. You can scroll down to check all of them. There are, these are the different pre-filled templates which have some formats and some formulas and some calculations where you just need to put in the values and you get the desired results. So in this lecture since we are talking about loan amortization, we will be interested in getting a tablet on loan. So I just write a loan here, I just type loan and I press enter. And you see that different uh, templates or files are available here. We just click on any one. We select this one, loan amortization schedule and we press enter key. And uh, you just need to press on the click button. Okay, so here is a template for loan. EMI calculation as well as to get the amortization schedule. Now, <coughs> on the left hand side, you can see that you have to enter some values here. So, first value is the loan amount. Suppose we are taking a loan of 5 lakh, so we will enter 5 lakh here. And the interest rate, let's take the interest rate as 9.5%. Basically, the rate vary from bank to bank, but we take it as 9.5. The loan period year in years means in how much in how much duration you want to pay the loan or what is the life of the loan so we take it as five years number of payment per year that means how many installments you are going to pay in a year since we have decided to pay on a monthly basis so there will be 12 installments in a year on monthly basis and i want to start the loan on december 1 2016 so this is the information that was required and I have already filled it. So when I press any key, I'm not putting any optional payment as of now. And I'm just mentioning my name here, Arlo City. Okay. Now see, I have filled in the values and this, these values are automatically generated from Excel. That is how our tablets actually work. So let us see how to read all this and how to get information. Schedule payment is the EMI that you are supposed to pay. So for five loan to repay a loan of five lakh rupees, we need to pay ten thousand five hundred every month for sixteen installments. We are taking a loan for five years and we are going to pay every month. That means there will be total sixteen scheduled payments, and the total interest that we are going to pay is one lakh thirty thousand and fifty five for this. Suppose if I increase the duration of the loan to 10 years, then see what happens. Now my EMI is in reduced to 6496. Earlier it was 10,500 and now it is 6496. But the interest amount has just increased to 276,000. Earlier it was. 1 lakh 30 now it is 2 lakh 76 thousand now the table below you can see this is the amortization schedule where the payment number is mentioned the payment date is mentioned you have the beginning balance scheduled payment extra payment total payment principal interest ending balance and cumulative interest so these are the heading for the amortization Okay. <clears throat> so as you see that payment date is 1st January 2017 as we will be paying at the end of the month. 
So we are starting the loan in December. So we are going to pay. Start going to pay from January, February onwards. On the first of every month, we are going to make the payment. So the beginning balance is five lakh. Schedule payment is six nine six four. It is divided into principal and interest, and the ending balance is reduced from the opening balance less the principal amount. You get the ending balance, and on this you pay interest every month. So this is how you get your loan amortization schedule. You can see that there are total one twenty payments. And at the end of one twenty payment, your total ending balance is coming to zero, and the interest is coming to two seventy six three eighty five point three five. So this is how you can calculate EMI for any loan, and also get the amortization.